types and properties of triangles. So a triangle is just a three-sided polygon. Let's have a look. In maths, we like to label polygons with letters on the vertices. So this vertice here is labeled with an A, this vertice is labeled with a B, and this vertice, or this vertex, is labeled with a C. We can call our sides using two of the vertices. So the side AB is the side that joins the vertex A and the vertex B, so this side here. So that becomes AB. This one, so we also have BC and AC. It doesn't matter in the ordering of the letters, but usually alphabetical order is the norm. We can also call the angles with the letters as well. So this angle here, we can call either angle BAC or angle CAB. As long as whatever vertex is where the angle is, is in the middle of our labeling. So angle BAC refers to BAC, and CAB is the same angle, CAB, like that. Let's look at some different types of triangles. We can either classify them by their side lengths or by their interior angles. So let's, let's go with sides first. So we can have a triangle where all three side lengths are different. This is called a scalene triangle. And all the angles are different as well. Let's have a look at this triangle. Where two sides are the same, and these two angles at the base are also equal. This is an isosceles triangle. What about an angle, what about a triangle where all the sides are equal and all the angles are equal? That's an equilateral triangle. And all the angles are equal, and they're actually all equal 60 degrees. With the isosceles triangle, we know the angles are equal, but we don't necessarily know what they're equal to. What about classifying triangles with their angles? So we can have an acute angle triangle where all the angles are acute. We can have an obtuse angle triangle where one of the angles is obtuse. We can also have a right angle triangle where one of the angles is a right angle which equals 90 degrees. There's a special property with triangles where all three angles always add up to 180 degrees. So if this angle was A, this one was B, and this one was C, A plus B plus C equals 180 degrees. And this is 
every time with every type of triangle we've looked at. Let's also have a look at another property. If we have a triangle where one of the lengths is extended, the exterior angle out here, let's call it Z, equals the sum of the opposite two interior angles. So the opposite two from the exterior one, so whereas the one next to it is not included, but it's the other two. So Z equals X plus Y. Now we call this the sum of the two interior opposite angles equals the exterior angle. Let's look at some examples. We have a triangle where we have X, 80 degrees, and 20 degrees, and we want to solve for X. Well, we know that all three angles in any triangle add up to 180 degrees. So X is going to have to equal 180 minus 80 minus 20. And we're going to get X equaling 80 degrees. And the property we've used is angle sum of a triangle equals 180 degrees. And if x was 80 degrees, or it is, we actually end up with an isosceles triangle, which means that we would know that these two sides would have to be equal because the two angles at the base have to be equal as well. Let's have a look at another one. So we know this is 75 degrees. This side equals this side, and this angle is A. Well, first we can identify what kind of triangle we have. We have an isosceles triangle because we know this side equals this side. And one thing we know about an isosceles triangle is that the base angles are equal. So we know that that angle up there has to be 75 degrees. Which means now we can find A because we know the angle sum of a triangle has to be 180. So we can do 180 minus 75 minus 75 and we're going to get A equals 30 degrees by using the angle sum of a triangle equals 180 degrees. Let's look at another one. So we have a triangle with one of the lengths being extended. We know the angle over there is 105 degrees. We know the angle over here is 50 and we want to solve for x. Well, we know we have a property where the exterior angle equals the sum of the opposite two interior angles. So we could write x plus 50 has to equal to 105 degrees because of our sum of the opposite two Interior angles equals the external angle. We can minus 50 from both sides using some algebra. So x equals 55 degrees.